It's Kevin with Absolute Outdoors. Today we're going to be shooting two steel exterior doors. We're going to be using several different firearms and several different types of ammunition. The goal here is just to see what types of ammunition will penetrate a steel door. Maybe some won't. And uh, hopefully you'll find this video entertaining. Let's get to it. Here's the ammunition we're going to be using today, just some older double-odd buck, some slugs. We're also going to test some Winchester Defender. Pause the video if you would like to check out the details on that. We're going to be shooting some Fetter double-odd buck, Winchester rifled slugs. We're going to be shooting some Winchester target load. We're also going to be shooting some 5.56 green tip. And we're going to shoot some 7.62 steel case and brass case out of the Ruger Mini 30. We're also going to be using an AR style shotgun and we're also going to be using an AR-15 of course. First up, we're going to fire our Winchester target load. Let's see how it does. So as you can see here, our target load pelted the door pretty good. There's an indentation in the door, maybe about a half of an inch deep at its deepest point. The target load did not penetrate the door. So now we're gonna be shooting our buckshot, five rounds. Let's see how it does. So here you can see the buckshot clearly went through the door. At least on the first side and around the back. Definitely went clean through this door. So if you're hiding behind a door and someone's shooting at you with buckshot, you might want to move. Now we're going to go ahead and shoot our Winchester Defender. This is going to be a slug as well as three pellets of double odd buck. We've got three rounds. Let's go ahead and see what kind of damage it will do. So here's our door we just shot with three Winchester Defender slugs. Each round had three pellets of double odd buck and I shot lower so you could clearly see that there are nine rounds and you can see the spread pattern for each round. And obviously these three rounds went straight through this door. Now we're gonna go ahead and shoot our 5.56 through an AR-15. You can see we're using our Winchester green tip. That'll be four rounds. I'll go ahead and show you guys exactly what happens. Now we're going to be shooting our 7.62x39 steel case Tula, five rounds through our Ruger Mini 30. So here you can see our 7.62 and 5.56 right along there. It should be no surprise that this ammunition went straight through our door. Now we're going to go ahead and set up a second steel exterior door in front of this one and shoot it again with our ammunition. Now we're going to go ahead and shoot our buckshot three rounds. You'll see we set up a second steel exterior door in front of our old one and we twisted our old door around so we can see if our buckshot will penetrate both doors. Now let's go ahead and load this up, see what it does. <laughs> so 
So here's our end result right here with our buckshot. You can see our second door in front. It went clean through, no surprise there. And our second door we actually flipped around so you can see which pellets penetrated the door. And you'll be actually surprised to see that most of the pellets here actually were stopped by the last layer of steel in the second door. And there's actually, look at that, a pellet right there, inside there. So let's go ahead and shoot our other ammunition and see how it does. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and shoot our Federal rifled slugs. We'll have two of those. And then I'll go ahead and change mags and we'll fire two Winchester Defenders with the buckshot and the slug. So next we're going to shoot our 5.56. This will be our green tip Winchester, four rounds. And then I'll go ahead and chamber our Ruger Mini 30 with some PMC brass case ammunition. We'll also be shooting three rounds. Let's see how it does. So here's the end result with our slugs in 7.62 as well as 5.56. Our 7.62 went through here, here, and here. 5.56 there and one down there. Traveled straight through the door, of course. Hit the support and actually tumbled and ran into the second door at an angle. And you can see it actually came through sideways. Pretty interesting. Our slugs, of course went straight through the door no problem as well as the buckshot with the defender ammunition which i shot lower traveled straight through the second door you'll see some of the slugs there there and there as well as the buckshot and our federal three inch mag went through up here no challenge for that ammunition went straight through and went straight through down here as well, except for the buckshot from our Defender ammunition was stopped. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it to be entertaining to some extent. If you guys could like the video, leave a comment with some feedback for me, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps me to continue making content for you. You'll see we tried to be as safe as possible when shooting today. We stood a fair distance behind our doors and we shot at an angle where most of the bullets would go into our backstop or into the ground. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.